Military Institute. Now, they have upheld your creed and live by it, by duty, honor, and achievement. And by doing this, they have been a success in whatever profession uh, they have chosen to enter. You know, this is a time when we all need heroes for Rohan. 
And these 11 inductees personify real role models for each and every one of us. We can all try to copy the example that they have set. I noted in reading a little bit about them that two have given the very most in duty to their country. Eight of them, of course, have worked very hard toward achieving my goals and have given back both to the Institute, but probably more important in looking at it from a broader scope to the country uh, a great deal. They have made America a better place to live. I've had the opportunity, of course, to work with one who will be looked at and acknowledged for his great work last year, and he continues to do the same this year. But I, I am not amazed, but I certainly look to them, uh, as all of you should, as a role model uh, of achievement, of all the things that this institute stands for. I'm very proud to be a part of this ceremony and to be a part of this institute. And I salute all of you. I thank all of you for your contributions. I wish you the very best during the rest of our homecoming ceremony. Thank you. New Mexico Military Institute, Hall of Fame, Lieutenant Colonel Arden R. Bellner, 19. Lieutenant Colonel Arden R. Bellner came to Roswell in 1907. A graduate of the Institute in 1919, he attained both civic and business prominence in the community. He entered active duty in July 1941, assigned to General Douglas MacArthur's force in the Philippine Islands. In the aftermath of the Japanese surprise attack on Pearl Harbor, 7 December 1941, Colonel Bellner's units, defending Cagayan province in Mindanao, were intact and holding firm against invading enemy armies when all American forces in the Philippines were ordered to surrender on 10 May 1942. Colonel Bellner survived two and a half years as a prisoner of war of the Japanese in the Philippines. He was among the last 1,619 Allied prisoners of war that were being transported to Japan aboard the infamous Aruku Maru. He was killed in action on 15 December 1944 during a bombing in Subic Bay of this unmarked prison transport. His heroism and dedication to duty and honor are exemplified by General Douglas MacArthur's words to his comrades in arms, quote, it was largely their magnificent courage and sacrifices which stopped the enemy. Their names will be enshrined in our country's glory forever, end quote. Colonel Bellner is represented by his daughter, Betty Arden Bellner Jones. Thank you. My father, Lieutenant Colonel Arden Bellner, wrote these words in April 1942 from the island of Mindanao in the Philippines. The enemy came today with their planes. They gave us quite a show of heavy bombing. I have seen a lot of action now. We are waiting for the assistance to get us out. I will be very glad when this is over and I can get back. But I think we have to get this job done, and done very well, before it is time to leave. All of you, keep up the good work. Keep on being good soldiers. I thank you, the alumni of New Mexico Military Institute, the Corps of Cadets, my family, my friend, for bringing my father, a fellow cadet, back here with you, home at last. Thank you.
New Mexico Military Institute Hall of Fame. W.J. Jack Bowen, 40. W.J. Jack Bowen is a respected leader in the energy... Area, please refrain from stepping on the ground.